Hello everyone, I just finished my video where you can look at the spells and talents for the Paladin. This will be my opinion about how the Paladin works at the moment. If you're not interested in my opinion or my ramblings, please look at that video and make up your own mind. Now first things first, the Paladin class works. The damage in Retribution is alright, and as a protection you can hold aggro just fine. I don't know how the holy spec is because I'm not a healer, I'm sorry for that, uh, but those two specs they work. The only problem I have with uh, the Paladin class at the moment as a tank is that it's kind of boring at some points. You have moments where you don't have enough fingers to push the buttons and you have moments where you don't have anything to do at all. That's a bit unbalanced. Now let's take a look at the talents first. I'll start off with Retribution. Now, as you know this is the damage pack, so I would like this specialization. Let's take a look at the talents. At level 15 you get 3 speed increases. You get either speed of light, which increases your movement speed by 70% for 8 seconds. This is a sprinting ability. You get long arm of the law, which is successful judgment, increases your movement speed by 45%. The difference with life is that there is no maximum or limited range, so it always works. <coughs> and you have pursuit of justice, where you gain 15% movement speed at all times, plus an additional 5% movement speed for each current charge of holy power up to 3. Now for my retribution spec I've chosen um, the long arm of the law because when you judge in PvP or PvE you would just sprint along and speed of light is just another button to push and I don't like it um, because I'm not a rogue and pursuit of justice is more for my tanking spec I like to be able to run around uh, in front of my group and this gives me a permanent increase which is great At level 30 you get the choice between either fist of justice, repentance or burden of guilt these are all crowd control abilities Fist of Justice improves your Hammer of Justice so you don't get two stuns and it uh, reduces the cooldown by 30 seconds and you stun the target for 6 seconds in and that's the same as with Hammer of Justice. Repentance is brilliant for CC because it now works as the major shipping ability. You cast it instead of an instant cast but you can use it in combat which is just amazing. And Burden of Guild is more for the PvP scenario where it reduces the movement speed by 50% for 12 seconds after you judgment or after you judge someone. So that's really for the PvP. Um, for my tanking, I use Repentance most of the time. And for my PvE or my damage pack, I use Face of Justice. Now at 45, you get either Selfless Healer, Eternal Flame, or Sacred Shield. Selfless Healer is your sex successful judgments, reduce the cost time and mana cost of your next flash of light by 35% per stack, blah blah blah. I don't like flash of light. Eternal Flame, consumes up the free holy power to place a protective holy flame, but it replaces word of glory. I love my word of glory. Sacred Shield, protects the target with a shield of holy light. The shield absorbs damage every second and can be active only on one target at a time. And I've read on a post um, that it protects you every 5.65 seconds. So the moment you cast it, that's when the time goes in. And after 5.65 seconds, it will once again absorb some damage. Now, out of the three, this one is really the better of the worst, to be honest. I can see why you want Holy Flame, which is an AoE of a uh, um, healing over time, which is great. And Selfless Healer, yeah, I, I've never liked... Um, Flash of Light. Maybe I'm very wrong at that. Either way, I've chosen Sacred Shield. At level 60 you get Hand of Purity, which is reduces the damage of harmful periodic effects by 70% for 6 seconds. Or Unbreakable Spirit, where it reduces the cooldown on your major cooldown abilities by 1% per holy power spend up to a maximum of 50% reduction. Or Clemency, where you can use Hand of Freedom, Hand of Protection, Hand of Sacrifice and Hand of Salvation twice, each before incurring their cooldowns. The last one is really PvP orientated. That's easy. Unbreakable Spirit, at first I thought it was really great, but when I started using it I noticed that as a tank I hardly ever use my shield or protection. And to reduce my cooldown on lay on hands that means either I have a very crappy healer or something is wrong. Not worth it. And Hand of Purity, once again, it's the better of the worst. It reduces the, the damage done of harmful periodic effects, so dots, by 70%. So yeah, I've chosen that one for both my tanking and my DPS spec. At 75, you get either Holy Avenger, which abilities to generate Holy Power will do 30% additional damage and healing and generate 3 charges of Holy Power for the next 18 seconds. This is our old the lottery. You have Sanctified Raft, which is Avenging Raft lasts 50% longer and grants more frequent access to one of your abilities while it lasts. In Holy Spec, you get a reduced cooldown of Holy Shock by 50%. In Protection Spec, you get a reduced cooldown of Judgment. Whoopie doo. Avenging Wrath also increases healing received by 20%. And Retribution reduces the cooldown of Hammer of Wrath by 50 seconds. 
it used to be in retribution spec that you can cast your um, hammer of justice all the time they changed that and now it's back to 50% uh, cooldown reduction and the last one is divine purpose abilities to cast holy power have a 25% chance to cast divine purpose effect your next holy power ability will consume no holy, holy power and will cast as if free holy power were consumed this is already in the game the only difference is that our world, word of glory no longer has a cooldown so you can cast it instantly again I'm pretty sure it will be nerfed once people start crying that you can heal yourself up so easily. But for now, this is the one to choose, in my opinion. I mean, Sanctified Wrath, really? A reduced cooldown of my judgment? Really? And increased healing receipt. Well, that's great. And Holy, yeah, maybe. But I thought this one was very nice, and I love it. And Holy Avenger? Hmm, maybe. At level 90, we get three new abilities. One is Holy Prism. Which sends a beam of light towards the target, turning them into a prism of holy energy. If an enemy is in a prism, they take holy damage and radiate healing to five nearby allies within 15 yards. If an ally is in the prism, they are healed and radiate holy damage to five nearby enemies. Not bad. You have Light Hammer, which hurls a light infused hammer into the ground where it will blast a 10 yard area with arcing light for 16 seconds. It deals holy damage to enemies within the area and healing to allies within the area. So this is AoE damage and healing. And you have Execution Sentence. A hammer slowly falls from the sky, causing holy damage over 10 seconds. The damage is dealt slowly at first and increases over time, culminating in a final burst of damage. And if you use it on a friendly target, it will heal first and then burst in a final healing. Now I want to show you all three of them because they're new. So start off with Holy Prism. Now Holy Prism, you can compare it to the Shaman, his lightning thingy. And once you click it, it shoots out into different directions and to five nearby allies or five nearby enemies which isn't too bad and i'm sure after number crunching it might be the better one but it's another ability that i need to push and constantly push because it has a 20 second cooldown i already pushed too many buttons the second one is lights hammer if i'm out of combat and Light's Hammer I've chosen for both my tanking and retribution spec. I use it most of the time because it's a great AoE. And I love to pull big groups and AoE is excellent. You click on it, you get a little field where you can click. And boom, hammer's on the floor. And it heals and it does damage at the same time. Which is just brilliant. Click it once, I do it whenever anything is on cooldown. Toss it on the floor and it will AoE for me. Which I love. And the other one is Execution Sentence, and this one I use most of the times when I'm finding one-on-one. -on -one. That's for raiding, that's for bossies, wherever we have a hard time. Execution Sentence, thank you. Now this one is on a single target, and you can choose to put it either on the enemy or on yourself, and it will heal or deal damage. And I'll put it on myself now. As you can see, Hammer slowly falls, 4k heals, 5k heal. Not too bad. And like I said, this is more for the single target scenario. And it ends in a 47k heal. Which is great. Healing over time for a paladin. Awesome. So those are the um, talents I've chosen. Like I said, I like lightning hammer. Ooh, I want to keep you. And as you can see in um, Mr. Pandora, you can change your talents as long as you have Tome of the Clear Mind. You can do it out of combat, anytime, anyplace. Brilliant. Let's take a my tanking spec as you can see pursuit of justice repentance sacred shield hand of purity divine purpose and execution sentence and divine purpose guys it is amazing okay what else um our auras are gone they've replaced it with our seals as you can see in the lower left corner there are two auras still for us we have heart of the crusader which is a movement mountains movement speed increase by 20 percent that's just for us it no longer works for the group and we received for our tanking spec, hang on, for our tanking spec we've received Devotion Aura, which inspires all party and raid members within 40 yards, granting them immunity to silence and interrupt effects and reduce all damage taken by 20%. Magic damage taken for 6 seconds. It's not too bad. I just love my auras. I love the fact that I could switch it around, that when you're in a group you could uh, talk to your paladins and each get one. And it's gone now. And I feel a little heartbroken about it. But it's not a bad replacement, to be honest. And yeah. 
Now they can no longer be silenced or interrupted. Okay, what else? Um, let me think. What else do I want to tell you? Hammer of the Righteous, which is kind of odd. Hammer of the Righteous used to be a protection, uh, protection paladin spell only. For some reason, we also get it as a retribution. And I'm not sure if this is to boost our AoE damage or if it's to give us the ability to also apply the demoralize or the weaken blows on the target. I'm not sure. But for some reason we received it. And now I say to increase our AoE damage because that is the part where we're lacking as a paladin. They changed our Divine Storm again. They switching between using holy power and not using holy power. And in the beta at the moment you have to have free holy power before you can use Divine Storm. Unfortunately Divine Storm hits like a wet noodle. And it's only effective when you're fighting 10, 15, 20 mobs. I haven't had that many encounters where it wasn't viable for me to just put on Seal of the Righteous and return to my single target DPSing instead of using that holy power for Divine Storm. There are some other changes. Uh, we have Emancipate, which unshackles your spirit, freeing you from one movement impairing effect. This could be compared to the Gnomish Racial. It costs 9000 mana and will remove a slowing effect. The counterpart to that is that they've changed our judgment. It's now considered a melee strike so for example when you hit a mage with frost shield on with a judgment you still be slowed even when you're at range blinding light emits a de dazzling light in all directions blinding enemies within 10 yards causing them to wander disorientated for six seconds also a new spell an aoe disorientating brilliant man i love it for our exorcism they've made it that you can use exorcism without just a proc it no longer has a casting time so you can cast it at all times, and the only thing the proc does these days is reset the cooldown. So BAM! No casting time. Brilliant. For our protection spec they've removed the Vine Plea, and the same has been done for Retribution spec, so it's only viable in Holy spec now. So you can no longer start off with a free Holy Power uh, starter, unfortunately. They've also removed our AoE Taunt, which is one of the things that I really really miss, because uh, yeah, I need my AoE Taunting for my tanking. Um, there was at some point that they also removed Hammer of Wrath for our tanking, but thankfully they've returned it. Now, on the talents department, the one thing that's really, really bothering me are the talents that we can choose at level 45 and level 60. Let's take a look at them. You have Selfless Healer, Eternal Flame, Sacred Shield, Hand of Purity, Unbreakable Spirit, and Clemency. These talents are viable for a PvP and Retribution Paladin and for a tank. Where are the talents that I can use to increase my DPS as a PvEing Retribution to Paladin? Now I know the argument can be given that when you're dead you won't do any damage at all. So anything that reduces damage taken or that keeps you alive longer will increase your DPS. And that's all fine and good. But my job is to move out of the fire and the healer's job is to keep me alive. At least that's my understanding. So why am I given free abilities at level 45 that all increase my healing or give me a healing or a shield? And at 60 reduces damage taken and reduces my healing on my lay on hands and stuff like that. I don't understand why. And we'll take a look at the set bonus later on. But for the protection paladin at some point this 4 set piece bonus was an increase to our word of, gl word of glory. Really? An increase to myself healing as a protection paladin? What the hell? Don't I have a healer behind me? Why is this? Why am I getting so many self heals? Are there going to be that many battles where the damage is that's going to be insane and I need to constantly heal me? That doesn't seem right. As a tank my job is to pop my cooldowns, hold aggro, don't stand in the fire. And a healer his job is to keep me alive, not myself. At least my understanding. Now as a tank I love it that I can keep myself alive. It will probably be very viable in soloing. But as a PvE and Retribution Paladin I am really upset with these talent choices. There is nothing in here that increases my DPS. Nothing. 